After today's tutorial, you will be able to add events to your app and users will be able to join it. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you how to add events to your app if you are having any problems understanding what in which field what data you have to add. This is how it looks like. First of all, make sure in event ID you don't add any spaces. You can add spaces in title but not in ID. And for image, uh, you can use any image hosting site. I am using this imgbb.com because it is 100% free. For easier management, you can create albums. I will create an album. You can change the privacy. You can also select anyone with the link or just go with public. I'm going with public. I don't see any problem in it. And then inside the folder, upload your images. You can also change the settings from here. I will keep them as default. And make sure it is do not auto delete selected. And from here, select direct link, copy it. Go to your app, place the link here. If your internet is working properly and Firebase is also configured, your event have been added yeah there are still some problems with our ui so it is annoying but you can see the event is here now let's fix these problems in your load data block set progress bar visibility gone and add on child added event let's add this logic to collection and import it at on child changed event because on child added works when new data is added but when we update data in any event on child changed listener will, will be triggered Let's add a progress bar here. Set progress bar style horizontal. Padding 0. For a cleaner look, remove that card view from that image view. And Set padding of the most outer linear 0. Image scale type fit xy. Now go to the onbind custom view of your recycler view in the activity and set color filter to the edit image which is originally white to enhance the visibility. and adding some text as a hint to clear any confusion admin might have while editing these events
in the progress bar we added set max and set progress to show visual representation of how many users join it let's add a trackage block to prevent our app from crashing if anything goes wrong or some values are missing and then let's add an another row here using horizontal linear and make some adjustments to our layout With that set, now we can change the value here and it will show the progress, I mean how many users join it. Whenever you change the ID, it will become a new event. See, here we have two different events because their IDs are different. I think this layout is not that bad. We will show a similar layout to user also. So let's add this logic to collection and the layout also. Let's go to the user app. In the upcoming fragment, add a progress bar, add recycler view, add a custom view, let's import our layout uh, from uh, collection. We will be making some adjustments to it. import logic from collection remember this is user activity so we won't show the toast in case of error we will log the error messages
add a database component with path same as admin panel and at the on create after loading data hide the progress bar Let's align event title to the center. And then we will create a more block. To handle the action when user clicks on join button, we will pass a hash map. Inside it, we will check if the user is logged in. If it is not, we will refer them to the login activity where they can create an account or login if they already have an account. It is completely up to you how you design this login activity. But I have posted a really detailed tutorial on this. You can go check out that video and create your activity accordingly. Okay, let's continue our app creation. I will hide in toolbar and design my own toolbar. Set corner radius to zero. Of course, we don't want rounded uh, toolbar. I will add an image here for closing. We will use this text view as title. In the on page change it, we will change its content depending on which page we are.
so with that you can post upcoming events and users can click on join while how how they will actually join we will do that in our next video so stay tuned see you later